Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do the last issue of Aliens Genocide, issue number four. This is a wraparound cover by Art for Soydom. I'm going to show you, you know, the wraparound a little bit later uh, in a different way. So let's dive in first and finish the story and then we talk about in between and at the end. So there's a facehugger that wants to kill Grant. Well, not specifically Grant because, well, facehuggers don't target certain people. They just go for it. <laughs> why am I why why am I explaining that part to you? That's totally not necessary. You you you've seen the films, right? Come on. Anyway, uh, so the face hugger is grabbing him, but he's getting rescued by the uh, rescued by the major who's taking care of this creature. And uh, yeah, great stuff here with all the details. I'm enjoying the series a lot. There's a lot of things here that I uh, think that really works, um, and the characters are compelling and. Grant here has a um, change of heart, you know, he went from a hard businessman that doesn't, you know, care about people's lives to seeing up front what happens if people try to get what he wants, and that's the royal jelly, that's their mission, and people dying left and right, and he's seeing it firsthand, so now he has a more of a change of heart, he is, you know, becoming more um, sympathetic, uh, but he, um, you know, he organized, uh, organized this mission. So uh, he thinks he's the, the, um, the whole thing is sabotaged because he was the only one that hasn't had an armor. And in this particular classic here, there was a, uh, uh, someone planted an egg here to get rid of him. Uh, so he thinks there is a guy who's called, um, what's his name? Begali. He is uh, he's a strange little fellow. He did some weird stuff. And he thinks that he is uh, the one responsible for it. Uh, but since they don't have any ev clear evidence, um, so they put that aside right now because they need Bengali uh, for the mission. He is uh, he has some kind of important... Uh, he, is, he is an alien expert in the landing party, so they need him. So they uh, order uh, some kind of a strike from the orbit to the planet. They are releasing some warheads. Uh, because the plan is, in the last issue, so if you want to know what I'm talking about, just check out my audio alien reviews of, uh, well, on my channel, of course. And, well, subscribe if you want to. Uh, please do. And give me a like. That would be, <coughs> I really appreciate that. And uh, they want to get rid of the other aliens because they would, well, there are two factions. You know, we have the red and the black aliens. And it seems that the red ones are mutations. So they want to get rid of the queen um, of the alien faction so that the black ones are pursuing them and try to, you know, exterminate what is left because now that the alien queen is dead from the red party, um, they know that they're uh, done for. Um, and that gives us uh, the heroes here. Well, let's not call them heroes. <laughs> these these uh, people here uh, to you know, get in where they need to go, and that's in the alien hive to get the royal jelly. Now that all of the aliens are, you know, not on the, on the spot anymore and defending the queen, which is really weird, but not also because I'm going to show you why they left the, well, not why. Uh, it's not really a big deal that they left the queen uh, open and um, unprotected because she isn't. Um, so they are going in. And they say, hey, let's, um, we need to take, uh, uh, we okay, well, basically, they are clearing the room here, and they're also a little bit bitter about the aliens that killing their teammates, so there's a lot of bit, little bit revenge here. And um, she says, um, the major says, O'Connor, rub the new southern border and send in the cargo drone. This is the last, last radio contact till we get back out. Over and out. Um, also love the... Uh, the armor a little bit because they have some some kind of a square helmet instead of you know these round that we mostly see in these these kind of comics really cool so did they go in and um, also nice tibet you know this cross on, on you know reminds me a little bit of 40k stuff and uh, so they are going in and um, this guy comes back screaming because well like I said they are not alone there's some kind of a royal guard. Uh, royal aliens, more superior than the normal ones. And they also look different. So I believe they're more deadly, sleeker 
exact uh, something like that and then you know people getting killed here left and right so the major decides that hey there's um, still danger here um, I don't want to get you know ambushed from the backside so you guys stay here so they're gonna split up and um, they're going uh, with yeah with how, do, how many people are there six do I want to say that correctly one two three four five six yeah okay so they're arriving at the hive with the mother of the hive mother and um, there's nobody there so this Basali guy or whatever his name is um, says oh man this is the royal jelly it's beautiful and um, so Grant says beautiful eight good people died for that crap doesn't that mean anything to you but Mr. Grant sir this expedition was your idea yeah that's that's true what I don't get it's the alien queen is still here and he is just you know digging through the through her stuff and she doesn't do anything that strikes me as really weird because normally alien queens are very aggressive and defensive when threatened and you know here I'm not really getting that part but um, so eight um, Grant says yeah and I have to live with myself making such a horrible mistake I was careless, ignorant, inhumanly selfish. But you, you're evil. Try to deny that. Um, try, you've been uh, sabotaging this mission from day one. And he says, what? Sabotage? What are you talking about? Come on. Uh, I've been watching you, uh, Begali. And I, I know damn well you are up to something. But he says, yeah, okay. I have been up to something. but not sabotaging. And, well, it seems that he is, I don't know, a guy that does research. He's a... Um, uh, you know, he says, I'm doing research independent of Neofarm. I plan to publish articles of my own findings. He says, what do you mean, articles? Well, and he says, uh, no other scientist has been in Queen's mother's hive before. My first knowledge would have been a great value to any pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical, corporation. Basically, he's a spy and wants to have the knowledge for himself so that he can sell it to the highest bidder. Um, actually, that's a... That's cool that you can infiltrate it in this kind of way and then, you know, get what you want. Really smart. And um, so basically, it's, it can only be accused of greed. But then, as you can see here, something is happening and the alien, yeah, kills him. Yeah, what do you expect? And they, so then they killed the, the alien queen. Um, so he's dead. But it doesn't, you know, so we still don't know or they don't know who was sabotaging the whole mission and want to try to kill Grant. But then we see here this guy says, all right, Grant, Major Lee, drop your weapons. So it seems that um, our uh, Duke Nukem guy, that's how I call him, um, he is, uh, he's the traitor. He says, it's kind of funny, isn't it, Grant? You've gone so far. I mean, you actually gained, attained your goal. But just one blast from this gun and Neo Farm and the Xeno Zip Patton and all of Grand Enterprises will be up for grabs. Um, best of all, no witnesses other than a major here, and I bet she's dying to pull the trigger herself. Um, so, surprise, I didn't see that coming because he always was, you know, the kind of hard ass, very quiet. Well, okay, well, maybe now that I say it out loud, quiet. Yeah, okay, okay, maybe there was some writing on the wall, but maybe not. But I didn't see it coming at all. Um, because, you know, the, uh, the Bengali was some kind of a weasel. So I thought, okay, he could be the, the traitor. I was wrong, and that, you know, surprised me, and I like nice surprises. Um, but Grant thinks that Hendrickson, that's his name, is some kind of a, um android programmed to, uh, to ruin him and the tech company that he's working for, the pharmaceutical uh, company and he says ha 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 yeah well that's it eh? and then Demetria tries to do something you know grab the gun and she's getting blasted uh, before we go to the next page I told you I wanted to show you the wraparound cover well here it is because this is a poster inside still without all of the alien logo and it looks freaking cool look at that I mean I got a little bit of shininess from the window that is next to me here but you can see this looks Freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, so moving on. Um, 
So he talks shit uh, again to the major, but then he gets punched in the face by Grant and said, that was a mistake. Um, he said, you think you're tough training in a gym with a teacher, but inside you are, you rich maggots are all soft ass and then gets clucked in the face again. He stumbles and then he's been taken out by Grant, which surprised me a lot. Well, it's, so it seems you don't have to have extensive military training, um, military training to you know, beat someone, which is also true in real life. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I was wrong. You're too damn arrogant to be an android. And um, so the major says, hey, uh, listen, my hip is broken. I, I need some help. Um, and, she said, and then she talks about that she is going to be healed if she's going to be in some kind of a chamber. And then when she is going back to Earth, there's, there's going to be some therapy to help her on the way. And the uh, that the armor has saved her. I mean, Grant explaining that to her. So um, they need to get out of here. They they uh, have the jelly because Grant explains that you said it yourself this morning, Major. Too many people have died uh, for us to leave it all behind now. So they have been loading it up into this thingamajig, this, this contraption. And um, so they say, hey, uh, Hendrickson, lead the way out. Because, of course, aliens are coming back. Um, now that the queen is dead, they, they heard her death cry or the, the, her mental link or something. Um, but uh, the major says, uh, forget the helmets. We slow, we've been slowed enough. Um, and that the creatures are miles from here. So don't worry. Yeah. No. <laughs> so it seems... That the, the creatures are taking care of whatever that has been, you know, left behind these people. Because I didn't see it at first, but can you see this is some kind of an arm? And here as well. So small details, looks very cool. So the um, aliens come in and, uh, you know, uh, our Duke Nukem guy is not, you know, is, isn't having it. I mean, is this the best time to, you know, be rebellious and try to escape? I, I don't think so, because there's a lot of aliens trying to kill you. So um, Henderson wants to uh, kill Grant. And uh, I'm going to make it out of here, Grant. I'm, I'm going to be the only one who does. For Christ God, Corporal, they're almost on top of us. And then he um, has some Xenosip in here, and he re recalls the part. I believe there was an issue one or two. I'm not entirely sure that um, this happened. And he says... Um, you should have seen what happens when I take one of those. So yeah, this is happening. You want to, you want to, you want the gun so bad, corporate, take it. And then he stops it. Him full with Xeno, uh, zip, and here's the special bonus. He says, and then yeah, um, it seems that if people take in it too much, they're going crazy. And uh, well, he's taking it a lot. You know what's gonna happen? He's going crazy. He's, you know, foaming from the mouth, and then he is, yeah. Looks fantastic. She said, what about Hendrickson? He, he's capable of taking care of himself. Yeah, it's true. He is a, he's a killing machine now. He doesn't feel pain at all. Well, this alien rips his, hand, his arm off. And again, the arm looks so cool. It's so kinetic. It's so exciting to look at. And then there's also the sense of urgency. Well, these, all these aliens are, you know, hastily try to kill them all. And all these different aliens and different poses looks freaking awesome. So they're uh, escaping the, um, well, not the compound, but Adrian Hive, Hive, I'm sorry. And uh, Grant is, you know, calling the, the ship for, hey, let's, let's get, out, get out of here and, and, and protect us and get us out of here. And, um, but the, the aliens are uh, following in them and they, are, they think, okay, this is this, we are too late. There's too many of them. Uh, they're almost on top of us, he says. And they, they get help from, yeah, this guy that's been manning a cannon because he was ordered to stay behind. So they are um, try to leave, but then the ramp is being blocked by one of these aliens here. And um, so this guy says, don't shoot it because otherwise the blood will be, uh, you know, damaging the ship. And, um, and it's going to be penetrating the door, which is bad. And he throws a saxophone. <laughs> Bonk! And <laughs> they escape. <laughs> oh, so cool. Um, so, and then we have the ending that, uh, you know, she's now feeling better and that Grant is now a changed man and uh, etc., really cool and he says see you really can't learn something new every day good night major and then this is a great shot i mean 
the hive is gone and we see all these aliens are, I don't know, depressive, something. And it looks like this alien has some his hands in his pocket. <laughs> and then, yeah, this, this here looks really cool and uh, I love it. This is a great ending. Uh, also a great ending from this complete fantastic series. I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, so yeah, this gift is getting a thumbs up from me. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.